Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, let's see how many people do we have now. Okay, 11. Welcome to all of you. It is a pleasure to see you again. We are so close to finish. 
this module, so I invite you to participate every day. In that way, you are going to feel more comfortable about the language. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, uh, we are going to start now. So the rest is been uh, at the class as soon as possible they can do it. So uh, let us start now. Um, Okay, I'm going to share with you the link and you are going to start working. Okay, double clicks and tell me if you can open it. We are going to start with that activity. Okay, teacher, ahorita, ahorita, Lori.
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Did you finish? Not yet. I finished teacher. Okay, para los que van llegando, hay un link en el chat de Zoom. You can click on it and then you are going to start the activity, please. Good evening, teacher. A mí no me, no me sale el link.
Ahorita voy entrando, pero no me sale. Y se los compartí, compañeros. Did you finish? Hello? Yes, sir, I finished. Okay, what about the rest?
Okay, here you have the topic for today, how to use can for informal requests. This is class number uh, 19, and we are going to start right now. But before, let me check up the attendance in order to be sure that all of you are there. America, Elizabeth, say present, please. If you are there, America. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Iris. Ana Iris. Blanca Esperanza. Present teacher. Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Oh, here. Francisco. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Gisela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ingrid, Geraldine. Present. Present. Okay. Present. Okay, thank you. Jonathan Perez. Present, teacher. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Present, teacher. Okay. Jose Luis. Present. Okay. Karina Vanessa. Okay, uh, let me see. Karina Vanessa. Katherine Maricela. Present. Katherine Paola. <clears throat> Are you there or not? Present teacher. Okay, Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Kenny Natalie is here. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Oxana de Jesus. Present teacher. Oxana Elizabeth. Present. Uh, 
para Alejandra López. Sara. Janet del Carmen. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, let us continue then. I got some information right here and I need that you pay attention about this. Teacher, perdón, me mencionó. Janet? No, Paola. Paola, Paola, permítame un segundo. Catherine Pava, la teacher. Hola. Yes, I mentioned. Catherine Paola. Yeah. There. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, uh, I got a question right here. I don't know if you can see it very well. No sé si la pueden... Oh, sorry. No sé si pueden ver. Eh, la pregunta dice, can I borrow your book? Y luego dice, a request is when you ask for something. And we need to understand exactly that. When I use can, it's going to be informal. I invite you to read this and later we are going to discuss it. Leamos y después discutimos. Okay, tell me. I got some example here. For example, uh, can I borrow your book? We talked yesterday about this. Could I borrow your book? This is formal and this one is inform. What happened there? We are often informal with family and friends. Ah, okay. A menudo somos informales con la familia y los amigos. But what about uh, the right side? Can this in the lado derecho? We are usually formal with everyone else, like teacher, doctors, and people. We do not know where. Okay, eso que nos indica en español, veamos, que me dicen. Teacher, sería, ¿puedo agarrar tu libro? Hola. Eh, sería, ¿puedo agarrar tu libro? Sí. 
¿Será eso? Ahora, ojo con lo que dice en la nube aquí. We are often informal with family and friends. Nosotros a menudo somos informales con la familia y los amigos. Pero vea el lado derecho, formal. We are usually formal with everyone else. Like teachers, doctors, and people we do not know well. ¿Qué significa eso? Sí. Somos formales con los teachers, doctores, en las personas. Teacher, dice que nosotros usualmente lo usamos de una forma formal con personas que, que no conocemos, ya sean doctores, eh, profesores y personas que realmente no conocemos. Entonces, de esa forma se usa la forma formal, el cool. Okay, yesterday we talked a little bit about this, and today we need to look the informal side of this topic. Okay, veamos la parte izquierda, digamos, la informal de este tema. Okay, choose the best request for the pictures. A, B, or C, tell me. Okay, tell me. Let us see, teacher. Okay, you say, let us see. Okay, what about the rest? What is Jack requesting? What is Jack requesting? May I go to the restaurant? Can I have another cookie or could I borrow some money? Okay, you say that is let us see. Uh -huh. Okay, let us see somebody else. Veamos que dice alguien más. Letter A, teacher. Ah, could be. May I go to the bathroom? Oh, that, the restaurant. Según se ve en la imagen, el niño está en un colegio, en una escuela, no sé. Y está como pidiendo permiso para yes. ir al baño. <laughs> and take a look at the picture. What, what he okay. has there in the, in the table. Vean lo que él tiene ahí, una mesa. Ok, ok. Pues ahí está como que trabajando, ¿verdad? The, the picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need that you choose the best, the best request for the picture. May I go to the restroom? Can I have another cookie or could I borrow some money? Which one do you consider is the best options?
Y ch sería, la, sería la B si estuviera comiendo, pero no está comiendo. Ah, ok. He's not eating. He's not eating. No. Ok. Based on that, which one do you, do you think is the right one? ¿Cuál cree usted que es la, es la correcta? Letter A, teacher. Ok, letter A. May I go to the red room? Yes. Okay, now take a look at this. All I request with I. For example, we have informal, we have can. Uh, we, for example, say can go to the park. Can I go? Can I go to the park? And also, we have the formal way that is going to be uh, could I. Could I go to the park? Or also, uh, you can say, may I? And very formal, might I go? My is very formal. We don't use it my often. Okay, take a look at the shirt and ask me what you uh, don't get the name of this. Teacher, ¿qué significa mío? Excuse me? Mid, no. ¿Qué significa mid? Mid, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Might. 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 Ese uh -huh. es otro verbo auxiliar. Que ese vendría a ser a uh, podría. Sí. Es el considerado más formal de todos en este momento. And if you can see right here, the informal, the can uh, is the one that we are going to focus our attention right now. But at the same time, you can see that I have another auxiliary right here, including my, that is very formal. But we don't use my of, no lo usamos a menudo. Why, teacher? Why? Generalmente utilizamos otras palabras. No tenemos esa costumbre. Esa es una de las razones. Vamos a hacer corteses o usamos tool. Que, que es el, 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 como el más formal. Y ahí depende del, del momento, ¿no? All depends on the moment that you are going to be speaking. Okay, let me move a little bit. Wow. Hold on a second. I, I would like to show you this picture. But... Teacher, deme un minutito, por favor. Ya casi termino de copiar. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, well. But okay, well, uh, what I want is that you start using can in order to request something in, in an informal way. Eso sería como lo más práctico. Lo que me interesa eh, más que todo se mueve el tema es enfocarme en can de manera informal para poder hacer preguntas. Okay. Listo, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, you are going to make requests. I got one uh, to five. For example, in the third one, uh, said. I today go home, may, early. And the right question, may I go 
from early today. Okay, you are going to do the same with the number two, three, four, and five. Go ahead, please. Be careful with the dog, be careful with the dog, please. Okay, let me know if you already finished. Teacher, I don't see the number five. You don't see number five? Yes, I don't see it. I don't know why. Okay, let me adjust something here. Solo, solo veo borrow. Okay, hold on a second. Let me, let me move a little bit. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know, please. Tan pronto finalice, me avisa, por favor. Um. Finish, teacher. Okay. Finish teacher. Okay.
Okay. Finish teacher. Okay. Okay, let's see uh, number two. Somebody wants to read it. Can I go to the cinema with my friend? Oh, sorry, teacher. Okay, okay, don't worry. You are number, on number three. You already said. Okay, okay. Okay, somebody, uh, number two, please. Number two, teacher, could I borrow your pencil? Oh, okay. Could I borrow cool. your pencil? Could I borrow your pencil? Mm -hmm. Number four. May I pay the bill in cash? May I pay the bill in cash? Okay, and the number five. Can I borrow your car tomorrow? Okay. Can I borrow your car tomorrow? Okay, if you did it this way, you did a great job. Okay, any questions so far from here? For the moment, no teacher. No questions? What about the rest of the class? Maybe they have no question to show. Let me continue then. Okay, take a look at this one. Request for permission. We use can I, could I, or may I for permission. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, take a look at the pictures. And at the same time, you can read uh, the letter that I have, the, the words that I have here. Can I, could I, may I, for permission? Can I please go to the concert tomorrow night with my friends? Okay, I need that you create one in, the, in this way. Me gustaría que cada uno creara una pregunta, like the example that we have here. Okay, teacher. And can I sit down? Can I sit down here? Okay, nice. Informal, informal? Yes, it's informal. Okay. And uh, cool. I have this, or could I call you? Could I call you, could I call you? Uh, it's a polite teacher, or Should formal. It's a, it's a formal, could I, could, I, could I call you? It's formal, right? It's, it's, una for, it's una manera yes. formal. Yes, it's formal, okay. because when okay. we use can, it's informal. Ah, okay. And in May, uh, let me see, let me see. Um, May I go out with my friends tonight? Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, well, is that... Okay, can do it and make for request. Okay, let us read. 
you are at a restaurant. Use these words. Menu, manager, and dessert list. Okay, number six, uh, you need a menu. Can I have um, a menu? Or could I have a menu? Based on this, number six, you are going to work in phase number seven and eight, please. Okay, don't forget, you are at a restaurant. Use this word, menu, manager, letter, list. We already used the file one. You need a menu. Can I have a menu or could I have a menu? Okay, number seven, you are not happy with the service. And number eight, you would like to order something sweet. Okay. Sure. Hello? Uh, He hecho la siete, pero no sé si sería así. Diga. Can I speak to the manager? Can I speak uh, with the manager? Okay. Can I speak to, to the manager? Okay, could be in that way too. Okay, what about number eight? Okay, any volunteer who wants to uh, resolve number eight? You would like to order something sweet? Okay, uh, díganme en español qué dice la número ocho, por favor. ¿Te gustaría hacer un pedido? Okay, what else? ¿Te gustaría ¿Qué? ordenar? Algo dulce. Ah, algo dulce. Ah, okay, ¿te gustaría ordenar algo dulce? Ahora, en vez de que diga algo dulce, ¿por qué palabra la voy a cambiar? Water. I'm talking about these ones. De dessert list. Ah, dessert, dessert, dessert list. Dessert. Yes. List. It's like uh, to see the menu. Es como ver el menú. Ok. Ok, uh, let us continue with the, with the restaurant and you are going to use bill, check, make a reservation or drink. Okay, go ahead. Try to do it now, please. I'm going to give you time.
Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know, please. Teacher number A, can I pay the bill, the car? Number? Number nine, pardon. A, number okay. nine, can I pay the bill, the car? Mm. Tarjeta, car. Sí, pero ¿qué dice la número nueve? You are thirsty. ¿Qué es eso de thirsty? ¿Usted está sediento o, o usted quiere? Ay, yo lo... ¿Tiene sed? Ok, entonces, uh, which one I'm going to use it? I would like to drink water. I would like to drink water. Ok, because I'm thirsty. Ok. Ok. Thank you, sir. Uh, number 10, who wants to resolve it? Number 10, you finish your food and you want to pay. Okay. Come on, tell me. Creo que aquí sí ya entraría la que, la que hice, ¿verdad, teacher? Okay, okay, okay. Let us see. Okay, share, share, up, share with us. Can I pay the bill? The car, by car. Okay, sería. Pero repito. Can I pay the bill? By car. Okay, by, si, credit, si, by credit card. Okay, by credit. Ah, casi puede pagar con con tarjeta. Yes, yes, by credit card. Okay, okay, thank you. Sure, teacher. Hello, hello, sir. Can I pay cash? Oh, can I can can I pay cash? Okay, good idea. Okay, okay, thank nice. you. Good job, good job. Okay, okay. Let us continue. Number eleven. You load the meal and you want to come again next week. Okay, how you are going to deal with this? ¿Qué dice la once? Le gustó la comida, teacher. Sí. Ok. And you want to come again next week. Y quisiera regresar otra vez de la siguiente semana. Ah, ok. Uh, what is missing here? What is this? Make a reservation. Yes, but I remember that you need to use the polite uh, vocabulary. Uh, in this case, uh, which one are you going to use? Can food make? Um, Could you make a reservation? Yeah, but, but make is this. When I say may, is, I'm talking about mm. this. Okay, tell me. Okay, uh, how you are going to do in order to answer 11? Teacher, yo hice una, pero I using, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make reservation. Ah, uh, could be negative. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, but in using this case, in this case uh, okay, hold on a second. In this case, uh, what, one of these, uh, you are going to use one of these. Make reservation. Okay, but ya la tenemos. Hacer una reservación. Ahora, ¿cuál de estos auxiliares voy a usar para hacerla completa? Okay, okay. Teacher, podría ser, I could like to make a reservation. 
Okay, repeat again, please. I could like to make a reservation. That could be in that way. Or maybe uh, you can say, using can, can I make a reservation for the next week? You can use it that way too. So let me see the time that we have. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, use this verb uh, in the situation below. Say, invite and leave. Okay, and, and the same. As soon as you finish, let me know, please. Okay. Okay, hold on a little bit in order that uh, the rest can finish. Esperamos un par de segundos para que los demás también finalicen y luego. Vamos a hacer una comparación. Okay, let me see what you have. We are going to use stay, invite, and leave. In every situation, we are going to use just one. Okay, a part of you. Well, you <clears throat> unwell and number 14, my friends, to your part. Think, think about Say, say a thought of you. What is the el, el, el model that you are using there? What is the model there? I'm sorry, teacher. Okay, porque arriba tenemos y dice can, could, or may, or request. Okay. 
Who teacher? Can, can, can I a photo? Can I photo of you? Can I? Don't forget that you need to take one of these pair in order to put it here. Okay. No olvide que tiene que tomar uno de esos verbos y ponerlo en el espacio que está ahí, pero antes hay que ver si es can, could, may. I think teacher is cool. Could I take a photo, a photo with of you? Okay, could I take a photo of you? Could be. Okay. Next. Uh, okay, yes. Next. May, may I leave early today? I feel unwell. Okay. Unwell. Unwell. Yes. And somebody else, result number 14, please. The next, call I in pronunciation teacher about invite the invite. Invite. Say invite and okay. Invite. This is who who I invite to my friend to your party. Who my friend? Okay, my friend to your party. My friend? To your party. Uh, why is that? Is there a piece of bird missing there? Which one? Can, could, or may? Okay. In the, in the first one, we can say, "Can I? Can I? Can I take a photo of you?" And that uh, the next one. Leave early today. Leave early today. Could be. Uh, could I could I leave early today? I feel unwell. And number fourteen. Can I invite my friend to your party? Okay. Questions right here. Question, question. No, teacher. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, use this verb in the situation below. Go and borrow to the cinema with Sally and Johan. Seventeen. I will return next week. 
Okay, we had two different verbs, go and borrow. Okay, tell me. Can I to can I go to the cinema with Charlie uh, and Johan? Okay, okay. Go to the cinema with him. What about number uh, sixteen? Mm? Could I could I borrow? $70. I will return in next week. Okay. Enter. Seven. Seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Seventy. Yes. Seventy. Borrow. Seventy dollar. I will. $70. Okay, make a request. You are in the apartment. We are good friends. Do you want to use the phone? How you are going to say it? Okay, tell me. Can I use the phone? Can I use the phone, please? Okay, number 18. You want to give me uh, your homework tomorrow. Okay. I'm your teacher. You want to give me your homework tomorrow. I'm your teacher. Homework. Homework. Okay, oh, okay, tell me something about it. Where is my apartment? You are going fine. You want to use the phone. The phone. You want to use the phone. Okay, how you are going to, to say to make a request if uh, the situation is that you want to give me your homework tomorrow? ¿Cómo sería la solicitud para no entregármelo el día de mañana? O, o maybe, uh, in this case, for example, you want to give me your homework tomorrow. Tell me. Like the previous example, uh, you can use can, could, may. Let us start with the informal one. Si fuese la forma informal, ¿cómo, cómo me diría usted? Can I give you my homework tomorrow? Ah, uh, can I, can I, okay, can I give you? On Monday, the Gorea. Okay.
mal machen. Okay, let us continue with number 19. You want to come into my office. I am your boss. How you are going to request that? Number 20, you are my friend. You want to borrow some money. Usted es mi amigo, usted quiere prestar algún dinero. ¿Cómo me lo diría? In 21, you are in a restaurant. You need a share for your friends. There is an extra share at my table. Usted está en un restaurante, usted necesita una silla para un amigo. Y hay una silla extra en la mesa donde yo estoy. ¿Cómo me lo diría usted? Piense en esas tres, en esos tres escenarios, por favor. Okay, let us think in uh, number 19 first. Pensemos primero en el número 19. You want to come into my Not office? Occupy the chair. Excuse me? I can occupy the chair. I can occupy the chair. I can occupy the chair. I don't know what it's that. I can occupy. Okay, number 19, please. Could you open the door, please? Mm. Do you think that this is the right way to say it? Is my boss? Yes, of course, it's your boss. Pero será que usted le va, va a llegar y le va a decir, mire, podría abrir la puerta, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, I need that you think about that. ¿Cómo lo haría? Piense, piense. Pensemos, pensemos todo. Informal sería, teacher. Uh, in this case, it could be formal and in informal, in both ways. Y depende, porque si el jefe es bastante estricto, tendría que ser muy formal, no informal. Okay, tell me, tell me, please. But I need that all of you uh, give some ideas in order to resolve this number 19. Could, could I enter into your office? Mm. Bueno, si alguien me dijese a mí eso, me quedaría pensando varias cosas. ¿Por qué quiere entrar a mi oficina? <ríe> ok. Veamos, busquemos, busquemos. Could you tell me so why you want to come into my office? 
No, because the problem is that no. if you are the one, the one, uh, you need to get into the office. Mm. Usted es la que quiere entrar a la oficina de su jefe. O quiere entrar a la oficina y yo soy su jefe. Veamos, veamos, veamos. ¿Qué me diría? Si depende de lo que me diga, la dejo entrar. Yes. Take a look right here. Make a request. Estamos haciendo solicitudes. Okay. Yeah. ¿Cómo me pediría usted? Mm -hmm. O ustedes. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. You can think about that. No me digan que nunca. Han... Okay, go, go ahead, go ahead. Cool. May, may I come into into your office? ¿Será que lo vamos a hacer así tan directamente? No pregunto. I know that uh may teacher may I come enter in your office please uh, mm, it could be in that way but it's so uh, direct <laughs> uh, me, vean 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 para entrar a la oficina del jefe yo no le no, no necesariamente le voy a decir puedo entrar a tu oficina sí Cool, teacher. Excuse me, my. Cool, boy. I come to. <laughs> could I speak with you? Yeah, can could I speak with you for a moment? I need to tell you something really important about the job. Inmediatamente le va a decir, okay, come on, get in. Or maybe you have another way to say it, okay? But, in, but the first thing that you need to do is just to call him or her attention. Lo primero que necesita usted es llamar la atención de él. A través de qué? De alguna expresión. The something that you are going to say. Okay, let us uh, think about number 20. You are my friend, you want to borrow some money. Bueno, somos amigos, pero usted quiere prestar alguna platita. ¿Cómo me diría eso? Veamos. No me vaya a salir así directamente, porque no le presto. No, 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 no. Ok, think, think. Piensa, piensa. Come on, you can do it. Okay, lo voy a estar pensando mm. ahorita. I'm going to yeah. stop. Can you? Piensa, piensa, piensa. Teacher, podría ser este, my friend. Could you lend my money? ¿Será? Pues primero lo está, le está hablando bonito para que le preste. <laughs> ah, okay. But, uh, well, the first thing that you need to know is uh, if you are going to use it formal or informal. Based on that, you are going to continue. Remember, but what you need to do is just to borrow some money. 
está fácil. Um, I have an idea, you... teacher. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, sir. I have an idea. Um, hello, my friend. I need to buy a car. Can you borrow some money? Okay, can you can you borrow me some money? Uh -huh. uh, no, no, para comprar carros, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all the pen, all the pen. Okay, another way, somebody else, please. Yeah, it's a good option. Okay, tell me. Alguien más. Okay, I'm 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 here. I'm here. Just waiting for your answer. So please tell me. No se me duerman, por favor. Estoy aquí esperando sus respuestas. Lo veo pensando. I don't. I, I, I want to see your faces. Could you borrow me some money? Ah, okay. Por ahí vamos llegando. Por ahí vamos llegando. <laughs> Could you borrow me some money? Ah, okay. What, what about... okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. okay. Imagine that is a uh, time for time for lunch, <laughs> and you realize that you didn't uh, get your wallet with you. Imagínense que es la hora de almuerzo y hasta esa hora se da cuenta que su cartera no la llevaba del dinero. Ok. Well, ese es otro escenario. It's, that is a, a kind of a different scenario. But in uh, using that situation, you can say, ok. Oh my God, I, I, I forgot to bring my wallet. Could you borrow me some money, please? Para que de compasión. Sí. No, 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 es que hay que tener un poco de, ¿no? De cortesía. De imaginación. Okay. Yeah, you need to use your imagination, your creativity. Ok, pero yo quiero, I, I would like to see your, your, your answers about that. Porque si usted le llega directamente, no le va a prestar. If you, if you speak directly, uh, it's, it's kind of hard. All depends on the face that you are going to put at the moment that you are going to ask for money. If you are going to talk to your boss, how you are going to say it? Um, um. Okay, I would like to, to hear all of you talking about this topic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, nos hemos quedado ahí pegados y tenemos mucho que ver. <clears throat> you are my friend and you want to borrow some money. Gavi. Teacher. Gavi, are you there? Me, yeah, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Les iba a dar un ejemplo con Gaby, pero ok, go ahead, go ahead. Friends, I don't have cash. Could you lend me for me loans? Oh. Ah, por ahí va haciendo, mire, por ahí va haciendo. Y viene el tipo y le va a decir, no, no te preocupes, yo te lo cambio. 
<laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I got I got changed. Okay. Uh, ahora, por eso hay que pensarla bien. <coughs> Bueno, les iba a hacer un ejemplo con, con Gaby, pero ya, ya no, ya no. Ya no. Se, se quedó pensando, se quedó pensando. Ok, mira en lo que nos he puesto a pensar, en una cosa simple, ¿no? Uh, but, but that is what I need, that uh, you use your English spontaneously, you know? Uh, as soon as you see a situation, you are going to start thinking how can you, uh, or how you are going to resolve la situación y eso es lo que tenemos que hacer cuando se nos presentan situaciones reales comenzar a buscar la forma de resolverlas mm -hmm. en este caso talking about language uh, at the moment that we face that situation uh, we need to look for the best words in order to convince someone else in order that can help us Help us. Okay. Yo, 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 eh, me esperé diferentes opciones. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Sonido ambiente, please, please, please. Bueno, todavía sigo. Uh, I'm still waiting for your. Todavía estoy esperando, sí. El teacher no le quiso prestar el dinero, pero eso le tiró los chuchos. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, go my goodness. It's really, really difficult. <laughs> Okay, different way how to how to deal with with the language in order to get like good results. Okay, tenemos que tener suficiente vocabulario para poder uh, decirle algo a nuestro amigo, aunque sea nuestro amigo. Si no vamos a llegar de una. Can you borrow me some uh, some money because uh, this 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 this? No. Okay, all depend on the situation that you are going to to talk about, you know. Hey, hello, my friend. I'm calling you because I got a problem. What happened? Do you know what? Uh, I got a, uh, one of my family is six and I need to to take it to the clinic tomorrow, but I realized that I spent all my money. Is that possible that you can borrow me fix it back for tomorrow? I promise you to give you as soon as I get my payment. Okay, veamos que me comprendieron de lo que di. ¿Irá al banco mañana? ¿A dónde? ¿Que irá al banco mañana? ¿Irá al banco mañana para devolver el dinero? No. Someone in my family is six. Alguien en mi familia está enfermo. And I need to take him or her to the clinic. I need to see the doctor. But I realize that I don't have money because I already spent it. it so, can you borrow me 60 bucks for tomorrow? I promise you to give you as soon as I get my payroll. Ahora sí. Yes, yes. Ahora sí, la clase, ponme un poquito. Sí. Ay, mi amor. ¿Vos? ¿Será que sí. le estoy hablando demasiado técnico? No, no, no. Estoy claro. 
Bueno, creo que no me comprendieron lo que estaba tratando de decirles. Dicho, yo no entiendo lo que dice Fixibap. Es como una, una forma de decir dinero. Ah, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, when I say 50. Ah, 50. 50, oh. 50 okay. bat. Ah, les escribo mm. eso. Eso es informal. Mm -hmm. eh, es como pues, dinero, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eso es una palabra coloquial. Como que si fueran 50 pesos, así un decir, ¿no? Ah, ok. Y cero, seis, fifty dólares. Ok, dicho. Acuérdense, esa, sí, eso aclaro, esa es una parte coloquial del idioma. Que de repente eso ya no aparece, o sí aparece a veces en los libros, pero ya en el diario vivir, uh, uno se va enfrentando a ese tipo de, de, de palabras, ¿no? Y como lo hice también, ¿sabe por qué? Porque estábamos hablando de una manera informal y con un amigo. Ok, ok. Of course, that uh, in a business, we can use that kind of term. Ya mm. dentro de un... Eh, negocio. Cuestiones de negocio y algo formal, ya no puedo usar ese, ese ter esos términos. Mm. Sino que solamente un, eh, un lenguaje académico. Pero okay. échenlo ahí en la bolsita esa palabra. Ok, uh, and what about the 21? You are in a restaurant, you need a chair for your friends. There is an extra chair at my table. How can you ask me for the, for the chair? Está en el restaurante, usted llega con un amigo y necesita una silla. En la mesa que estoy hay una silla extra. ¿Cómo me dice usted que necesita esa silla? Tell me. Vean, les he explicado bastante en español hoy para que me comprendan. So, tell me. The first word that you are going to say, excuse me. May I use this chair? this. Could I use this chair? Can I? Well, it's informal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different ways. May I? Could I use this chair for my friend? Okay, could I use this chair? Or maybe uh, also you can say, are you using this chair? Mm, are you using? Así bien a la española. Bien traducido, así en forma literal. ¿Usted está usando esta silla? Sí, así bien básico. Mm-hmm. Okay, you, you got some idea. About, okay, let me know what else you have. We have here request with uh, you as me, me uh, a subject. Okay, what is uh, Helen requesting? Take a look, take a look at the picture. Would you open the door? Uh, will you help me with my bags or could you please, could you pass the, the paper and so? Tell me, A, B, or C? Ojo, arriba dice, request with you as the subject. Solicitando algo. Con el pronombre you como un sujeto. What is a uh, alien requesting? Será good you, será will you, o será could you? Tell me.
Letter B, teacher. Letter B. Letter B. Yes. Talking about the few issue. One of those of will. In the future, teacher. On the future, right, okay. And take a look at the picture of the lady have a lot of stuff in uh, her hands. Which one is the best option? What's the best option, entonces? Carmen. Letter A, teacher. Would okay. you open the door? Would you, you open the door, please? I need to go to my car with this box. Is okay. is the better is the better option because let us see. It doesn't it doesn't belong to the group. Let us see is not because no in the rough she's, she's, she's not eating in a restaurant. Yes. Okay, let us move forward. Porque tenemos poco tiempo. All I request with you. Okay, take a look. Take a look at that. We have informal, formal, formal, and very formal. We already talked about this. Okay. Uh, the first one said, can you pass the butter? Will you take my, my photo? Would you turn off the television? Or will you lend me some money? Will you is more common in British English. Ese will you is más común en inglés británico. Por eso, in my case, that I use uh, American English, I randomly use it. Okay, <clears throat> informal, formal, and very informal. Try to keep in mind. El teacher, el significado de Buddha? Significado de? Eh, Buddha. De Buddha. Ah, butter. Butter, perdón. Butter. 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 Can you pass the butter? Botella. Pass the butter. La botella, no. yeah. butter, something that you eat with uh, with bread, bread, algo que come con el pan francés, mm, manteca, mantequilla, mantequilla. Ah, okay, uh -huh. you, got, you got an idea, right? Oh, okay, also, you got right here. You can see the picture that we have here. Aquí tenemos una imagen de butter. Mm, butter. Oh. Es que mi, mi confusión es, yo he escuchado que dice butter water. Ah, uh, but it's, it's, in a, it's in another spelling way. I, I say the letra de otra forma. Ah, uh, okay, okay, teacher. Butter or water. In this case, butter. Butter. Ah, uh, okay. 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 Let us continue. Match the request to the response. Okay. I'm going to give you some time in order that you can resolve this exercise. The first one is done. Can I give you my homework tomorrow? The answer, no. You need to give it to me now. Okay, you are going to look for the answer of should I borrow your car tomorrow? And will you open the door for me? And will you come to the cinema with me? Okay, try to do it. Don't tell me. Okay, try cool. To I Okay. Could I borrow your car tomorrow? Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. 
Ok, resuelvan primero y luego comparamos las respuestas, por favor. Ok. Ok, do it, do it now. Okay, what do you open the Okay. Okay, let us start with the uh, third one. Could I borrow your car tomorrow? Which one do you consider is the, is the right answer? I'm ready. Tell me. Could I borrow your car tomorrow? Uh, sorry, but it's at the mechanics. Mechanic. Can give you my phone tomorrow? Whatever you can tomorrow, sorry, but it's at the mechanics. Mechanics. It's at the mechanic. And one some help with you. Okay, the, the next one. Would you open the door for me? Of course. of course. And do you want some help with your bag? Of course. And do you want some help with your bag? Okay. And the last one, will you come to the cinema with me? Sure. Which field do you want to see? Okay. Which field do you want to see? Okay. That's that. Ok, puedes hacer ahí la captura. Take a screenshot if you want. Ready. Ok, I'm going to erase. Ok. We have more about that. May I have a day off tomorrow? Could I borrow some money? Would you help me up the stair? Can you pass the butter? Okay. Tell me. Mm-hmm. 
May I have a day off tomorrow? Well, well, I am not, I'm not sure. sure. <laughs> Continue. Did you finish all of your work? Well, I'm not sure. Did you finish all your work? Okay, let, let me let me do something here. Okay, next one. Could I borrow some money? Again, I got you I got fifty you. back last week. I'm sorry. Last week, last week. Again, I gave you a fifty last week. Okay, next. Would you help me up the stair? Of course. But you can also take the ele elevator. Ah, oh, okay. Say, so, of course, but you can also take the elevator. Ah, me ayudas a subir las gradas. Claro, pero también puedes irte por el elevador. Okay, and the last one. Can you pass the butter? Which one is the, is the answer? Sure, sure. And can you pass me a slip of bread? Okay, this is sure. And can you pass me a slice of bread? Slice of bread? A uh, slice of bread. And the last one. Okay, may I request with these words. Tell me. Teacher, quedaría. Would you open the door for me? Would you open Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? You. Okay, okay, number 23. Drive home to you tonight. Me. Can you? Can you? Can you? Drive home tonight. Something is missing. Can you? I, el me, me. Yeah. Can you dry? Can you dry? Can you dry? Mr. Wayne, I'm Mr. Wayne. Can you dry me? Can you dry me? Can you dry me home tonight? Can you dry me? Okay, I'm going to explain nice. this in, uh, in Spanish. Esa palabra dry la conocen con el verbo de manejar. Sí? Sí. Pero al momento yeah. ahorita de pedir, de pedir Ray, está diciéndole ahí, can you dry me to 
can you drive me home tonight? Como quien dice, me, me das ride hoy en la noche. Ahí el drive, drive me, como que me llevas. Ok, 24, pass me will the sugar you. Pues, pass me will you will you pass me the sugar will you pass me the sugar will you pass me the sugar okay will you pass me the sugar okay um can if i talk with you more quickly would you talk more quickly will you talk Will, will you talk more quickly? Okay, let me see the time I'm going to start here. My goodness, my camera is far. Okay, okay, let me check out the attendance again. Uh, hold on a second, please. I need to check out. America. Say present, please. If you are there. America. Okay, Anairis. Anairis. No. Blanca Esperanza. Blanca Esperanza. Present teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Say hello, say hello, please. Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. It's there, it's there, it's there. Okay, Edwin Alexis. It's not here, Edwin Alfredo. Francisco Pereira. Okay, hold on. Uh, Gabriela Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gisela. 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 Okay, next. Ingrid Geraldina. Ingrid Geraldina. Jonathan. Present teacher, present, present. Okay, okay. Is there, uh, Don Jose Luis. Present. Karina Vanessa. Catherine Manicela. Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay. Roxana Alvarez. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Present. Sara Alejandra. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Si no escucha. Yesenia Lisset. Teacher, please. No sé si me escuchó. I got it, I got it. Yesenia Lisset. Not here. Yes, I'm not here. Okay. 
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let me see the time that we have now. Okay. Um, well, let us finish now. Okay, don't forget, uh, we are going to finish this module uh, the next Monday. And also what we are going to do is just to make a review about the topic that we already started this week. And vamos a llenar también la encuesta el día lunes. La encuesta de satisfacción. Imagino que a estas alturas ya les llegó el correo con todos los datos, ¿o no? No. No, no teacher. Ok, bueno, ahí va, veremos cómo, cómo está la fecha, ¿no? Pero es importante que las tareas en la plataforma estén hechas. Si alguien todavía no ha entrado, no ha hecho ninguna, lo invito a que sí lo haga. El día lunes lo haré, teacher, porque no, no he podido. Ok. Teacher, a mí hoy no me pasó lista, hoy al final. Don no, José. Yes, yes. Let me see if I didn't mention your name. Don no, José Ernesto Alemán. Present, present. No, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope to see you next Monday. It's going to be the next, uh, the last day for this module. And I wish you the best for, for the next one, please. Okay, good night. Take care. Bye -bye. Okay, good teacher. Night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Okay, bye. Good night, good night. <laughs>